So this is the making of my first NFT, which is a sort of a comedic uh, name for an NFT because obviously this is not my first NFT. Uh, and lots of people post online my first NFT and then link to a very sort of mediocre NFT and sort of proclaim, you know, look how good this is or give me money. Um, the sort of concept behind this is um, the stuff we've been exploring recently with uh, Family Grandios, with um, uh, this sort of infinite consumption, you know, everything commodified, everything digital, sort of hyper NFT reality where um, not only is the um, physical world completely owned uh, by um, outside forces, but uh, the sort of digital or the spiritual realm is also uh, commercialized and this video sort of takes that to another sort of reductio ad absurdum with um, a baby um, in a crib seeing a TV screen with you know presumably NFT images uh, beaming into the baby's brain you know hyper educating the wee lad so the um, so it's my first NFT um, is you know a baby so it's sort of this um, everyone's been very keen on this technology, but in its like truest, purest form, it's actually you know just as evil as everything else. And it's like you know all these babies watching colourful things on their parents' iPad for hours and hours every day, in this sort of mind-numbing, um, endless sprawl of um, shameful embarrassment and uneducated, um, you know, zombie children. So the uh, environment is, you know, is residential house HD from uh, Unreal, uh, but it has lots and lots of tweaks. And uh, the first thing was uh, sort of converting the room into a sort of trashy, beat up room, putting on lots of decals, changing the lighting, rebaking it quite a lot, um, you know, adding lots of dirt on the floor. I'm not sure how much you can see of this, but, you know, there's lots of new cabling and there's lots of, you know, um, piled up stuff and the carpet is actually specifically detailed, but I think you can't really see it in the final edit because uh, there's no reason for the camera to sort of focus on the cupboard and there's no sort of light being produced on the cupboard, so it was a little bit lost. Uh, but there's definitely the sense that this area is like a shitty, rundown, smelly apartment. We also have this sort of concept of uh, this baby being uh, the last human baby. Um, so it's sort of people not remembering quite how to raise a baby or what a baby does in society uh, in some of the clips you can see like pictures on the wall which we were thinking about doing some stuff with but we cut uh, one of the so the original idea was like to show the baby in the crib but then we sort of wanted to plus it in some way add, add something else and originally it was supposed to be the window flickers and shows like policemen looking through or something uh, and then it just got changed to a cityscape uh, and I believe one of them also had well one of them does have uh, like a monster appear at the door this sort of like um, uh, meta monster subliminal thing going on but uh, we've cut that and replaced it with the um, the baby raising android uh, the baby raising android is um, a you know it's a video flat video playing on a dome uh, and then it has a uh, projection texture from the projectionist plugin from unreal all the sort of projected textures have a um have this projectionist thing and all the screens have that as well it's sort of um you know who knows how it's not very realistic because there'll be a lot more sort of blur and fall off but it really um it really adds some um, um, to the sort of color and vibrancy of the image and also it um, creates a lot more movement which is something that is quite difficult when um, uh, the scenes are like slow panning through all these sort of set environments. The window, the way we did the window was we had um, the NF trees, something else we also want to do with those NF trees is like link all these NFTs we were making together into this shared universe and just gently sort of hint at the sort of interconnectedness and the idea that um, there is this sort of world and this um, metaverse and they sort of do belong to each other thematically and also um, through their corporations uh, that sort of rule this dystopian world. The 
um, the window was um, the NF trees, and then it glitched to just showing green. And then I rendered out the sequence once, and then uh, I rendered out the sequence again, and then hid the window plane. So when I hid the window, um, it rendered out the background city. So when it glitched and went green, I just keyed out the green. And I mean, I believe you can, I'm not too sure how much you can tell of that, but it's like, uh, I sort of fade in and fade out of that green clip because I'm using sort of ultra key, which might have been a bit lazy of me, but I just wanted that, um, that, uh, that keying done. So I think it sort of, you know, desaturates a little bit in some capacity, but, um, it, um, you know, it's was, it was what I thought of, and then uh, that keying sort of switches off when it flips back to the robot coming in. Um, this was a relatively uh, light scene to render, but um, when the uh, background was there, uh, of the city it got a little bit heavier but it's one of the advantages of using game ready assets is um uh, there's lots of scalability and setting up rendering and then um when you're actually uh rendering of course it's all real time the one thing you can see in these renders as well is sometimes if they're playing at a strange frame rate uh you know super fast in terms of the videos and the display it's because my laptop's rendering too slowly so the video is still playing at the same rate but the frames being rendered are taking longer so it's missing video frames which makes the video appear to render faster which was a serious problem because this um this scene required multiple video streams to line up um so you know the robot comes in and we want the robot's face and the scan to play at the exact beat um you know there's a few beats in this video and they rely on the videos changing or the baby animation but the video changing one was dependent on you know the ambient temperature of my room uh, when i was rendering and my clock speed on my you know gpu so it was incredibly difficult to uh to get that consistent look so the final render actually um you know it took 15 or 16 uh, attempts um, to sort of get all these videos to sync up because even if I had the timings correct in terms of uh, you know this sequence needing quite a few blueprints to actually work um, the temperature of my uh, laptop uh, really affected the render times uh, and unfortunately I started off the render using um, compression in my outputs compression in you know, the video in the render output so I didn't really want to turn that off since all since that like the three other videos I had were all modified to work um, with this sort of slower frame rate but it meant um, I got into some serious problems towards the end where we wanted to tweak some stuff and uh, I just couldn't bring myself to um, render out all this other stuff again I thought it was um, it was sort of close enough I was thinking about using virtual camera or something like that in this scene, but um, you know, using uh, virtual production and using my phone as a camera, but having the intentionality behind this floating camera um, really adds to the um, cinematographic qualities of the animation. And it really lets you sort of focus and hit on those beats um, opposed to like a sort of shaky handy cam. It gives a lot more sort of focus and um, you sort of get a more formal um, uh, composition and um, it has the slightly sort of smoother cooler look and as um, these NFTs are you know designed to be desirable in some capacity this sort of ultra smooth camera work um, appeals it has an appeal to it um, you know an obvious appeal to it other than um, a sort of shaky or less directional camera which might come off sort of uh, cheap or sloppy. That is my first NFT and some of the Unreal Engine uh, behind the scenes on making. The scenes on making.
你好宝贝，苏眠。一切都很好，保持睡眠，宝贝。好宝贝，苏眠，一切都很好，保持睡眠，宝贝。